there is, as you'll have noticed, one aspect of this system that I've not really touched on yet, and that's the racial basis of Atlantic slavery. And the reason for that is that Protestantism's view of this is pretty simple. Racial slavery as such simply could not be justified. The implicit belief of many slaveholders was that Africans were not truly human and therefore not really capable of being Christians. You find slaveholders comparing giving the sacraments to slaves to baptizing dogs or, or giving communion to horses. This sort of thing isn't an accident. But no serious Protestant ever tried to defend that kind of view. What they did do, sometimes making use of the, the scant biblical cover provided by the weird story of Noah cursing his son Ham, what they did do is sometimes try to explain something which most 18th century white observers took as a self-evident fact. That is, that Africans are human in theory, but they seem subhuman or almost bestial. William Knox, who's an outspoken Anglican advocate of converting slaves, himself also a slaveholder, admitted that what he called the dull stupidity of the Negro was a problem for his cause. He said he didn't know whether Africans were actually created as a lesser form of humanity or whether they'd merely degenerated to that state, but he, he took it as a fact Certain it is that a new Negro, as those lately imported from Africa are called, is a complete definition of indolent stupidity. When you meet people who have been systematically dehumanized, it's easy to conclude that they are therefore less than fully human. Only slowly does the notion begin to dawn on some Europeans that slavery might be the cause rather than the consequence of slaves' degradation. But even that doesn't change the facts on the ground. If you come to that conclusion, then you decide that slavery itself has made Africans unfit for freedom. And therefore, it would obviously be irresponsible to set them free. Unsurprisingly, Africans themselves had a different view. And this is one of the crucial points in our story at which that view starts to change European minds. 